while ago I fitted my new active target transducer to the bow mount electric and now it's time to get on the water and see what it'll do. Now for my first test, it's going to be upriver out the front of the gates to the inner Patterson Lakes estuary. Now I've got my active target deployed in forward mode and instantly you can see I'm picking up small fish, probably small brim. Then more small brim. Then here and further away, you can see some quite large images of fish. Now this is pretty cool. You can actually see the fish and you can see our two lures working vertically just off the bow of the boat. Now here, we've got fish just everywhere. Here's an example of brim or perch working in a deeper hole right under the boat. And here you'll see a school of fish move right through in and under the bow of the boat. Now we move inside to the Patterson Lakes estuary to have a look around and immediately find a school of bait. Here we're finding a lot of smaller schools of bait in mid-water and, as you can see, we're sanding in about three metres of water. And again, there's just one school after another coming through. Now inside here, I'm actually looking for larger fish like brim and mulloway and perhaps big estuary perch. There's much better fish here too. So for my final test, I've moved the transducer into scout mode and we're going to have a look around in a junction in the estuary where I know there's a good population of estuary perch. Now the key to scout mode is to actually keep the boat stationary so you can see the fish moving through the beam and eventually we start to see some fish. Now here definitely I can see fish moving under the boat. In scout mode the images of the fish too seem to be a little bit smaller than those of forward mode. Now there's a really good sounding here and you can quite clearly see those schools of estuary perch. And finally, here's another nice school of perch moving out to the right. So there you have it. That's my first initial foray with scout mode and building a little bit more of my information on forward mode. So overall, I'm very, very happy with what I've seen here from what I've led to believe the soundings of any active target in shallow water, and we've only been sounding in two to four metres of water, is always a little bit difficult. So those images that I've got here, very, very happy about. Let's go back, have a look, and go and see what we can find in deep water next time.